And the other night, we posted uh, the part one of the A.J. Parker coming over hunting with Dolly, his 10-month-old black and tan. My wife, she had to work the next morning, so we took her back home or had my stepson come and pick her up. We turned loose again. The first turn loose we made, I sent him, tried sending him down a holler. He turned around, went across the road, went like 1.3 miles or something before he treed. And the second time, I thought, well, he didn't go hunt any of those woods, so I'll drive a little bit farther in there and turn loose and like pretty much make him go on down in the holler where there's a creek and some other stuff, you know. And I know the cones use that area a lot. So I drove down in there with AJ, his dad, Anthony, his brother and his sister, and we turned the dogs loose again. Well, I put them off in a deep holler. Sure enough, preacher goes out like 65 yards makes a hard left-hand turn, goes, I don't know, like 80 yards beside us, kind of comes up behind us and is going back to where he kind of struck the first time. He gets up next to the, to the gravel road and he strikes. And I'm thinking, like, my goodness, I just turned, you know, we just... Like, we, we ran a coon 1.3 miles this way. Why can't you go 300 yards this way and tree a coon? So, anyhow, uh, I didn't call him back. I just, I thought, let's do, you know, whatever whatever you're doing. I know you went that way because you smelled a coon. So, he strikes, and we're standing there in the woods, and we're talking. Well, he goes almost to the dirt road. And he's trailing, and it's like an old track, and he's just kind of bumping around, bumping around. When this time, AJ took Dolly, and he just kind of walks her off in the woods. He don't really say anything. You can tell this kid loves it. He he walks her down in the woods, trying to get her on a on a scent, you know, on a coon scent. And I don't even see his light anymore. I don't know how far in the woods he went down in the holler. I'm going to say probably two, three hundred yards. The whole time, me and AJ's dad, Anthony, and his brother and sister, we're standing kind of by the side by side. Preacher's working his way around. He's, he's trailing, barking, barking, barking. Well, lo and behold, he, he gets closer and closer to us. Like He's within 150 yards. Still trailing. He gets within like 100 yards. He's still trailing. And I'm thinking, well, my goodness, he's going to like, he's going to come right back in here. He gets 80 yards from us. And we're just standing there in the woods talking to each other. Uh, Anthony, Anthony, the dad, he's kind of like, boy, he's fixing to bring this one right back to us. So I turn my light off and... We just kind of, we're not talking a whole lot. He gets 67 yards from us. And, I mean, he he comes treed hard. And I thought, that's kind of weird. You know, I mean, like, I'm not saying that we didn't pull up and I couldn't be there. But for him to, to go around, make a three, four hundred yard circle and then bring it back 67 yards from us in tree. Like, why didn't my dog just go over 67 yards and tree that coon? Well, my dog's more of a tracking dog. So anyways, 67 yards, he sets down trees. We walk over there and we're on the side of a mountain and Preacher's got, I believe it was two cones up the tree. Uh, possibly a third possibly a third cone we, we know that we seen two there might have been a third one but Dolly come in AJ come back he petted her up and got her to bark a little bit and I want to point out that I've been in contact with AJ since then the other night he turned the cage cone loose she treated it um, 
he actually sent me a message this morning. Today is Monday. I know the video may not be up till Tuesday or Wednesday. Anyhow, Monday the 13th, um, he sent me a message this morning of her tree on her first wild coon. And she had it. So, super excited for him and Dolly. Like, I think she's got a very good attitude about hunting. I know he is just eat slap up with it so that's awesome i'm super proud for him i would love to see him at a few hunts coming up and hey if he beats us or whatever i'll be more than tickled to death for him because uh i i i see a lot of me in him when i was a lot younger but anyhow that's kind of a recap of the hunt and it was a really good hunt. We had a really good time. I would love for them to come back or for me to go over to their place and us to get together and hunt some more. Thank y'all for watching. Uh, if you see AJ at a hunt, you know, congratulate him. He's a young, young man that's just getting started into this and he's got a lot to learn. But he is all ears, and I think he'll take information from anybody, whether it be right or wrong, and he'll figure it out on you know on his own in the end. Thank y'all, and hope you enjoy the video.